in the land known as Britain and a young boy Patrick is taking a stroll. Patrick is 16 years of age with two loving and wealthy parents known as Calvernius and Conchessa. One day little Patrick was walking around minding his own business when suddenly he was captured by a relating party of marauders who took him from Britain to Ireland, a land that was filled with Patrick was then sold as a slave to a man named Nuchu, who put Patrick to work tending his flocks. While Patrick was tending the flocks, he would go not too far and pray to God. He would pray a hundred times a day in just as many a night. Then, after six years of slavery, God gave him a vision, telling him that a ship was waiting for him at the dock. It was time for Patrick to go home. Then, on the night he came home, Patrick received yet another vision of the people of Ireland begging him to come back and preach to them the word of his God. Years later, Patrick was named Bishop of Ireland and then he came back to help the Irish people. For Patrick to preach to the Irish people he first had to get approval from the High King, Lyra, who requested that his Druid and Patrick try to impress him. Then, with the king's approval, Patrick converted the Irish and was later canonized as saint. Patrick later died on March 17, 460 AD, the day we now know as St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> 